Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. Hope you're having a great day. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the channel. If you like men's fragrance related content and some unisex fragrances as well, top 10 lists, full and depth reviews, and first impressions, you tune into the right channel. If you like this content, make sure you show your support by clicking that red subscribe button down below. Like the video and click the bell icon so you don't miss any future fragrance upload videos like this and giveaway announcements as well. Today we're talking about a fragrance from House of Emwage. It's a new release. I'm kind of late to the party, but nevertheless, we're talking about Emwage, and this is Reflection Man 45. So I have the travel atomizer you can buy. It comes in a set, which I'll zoom in and show you. I have two female fragrances and two male fragrances. So later on, if you guys want, I will do the two female fragrances or I'll just touch on the two men's fragrances. This fragrance itself, if you want the big 100 ml bottle, it comes in one size, it's gonna cost you a pretty penny. Uh, a lot of pennies. I'm talking $500 for a 100 ml bottle. Yes, it's crazy. I correct, yes, the way I'm talking, $500. Now, is the fragrance worth it? Well, in my opinion, I'm gonna break it down in this video here, let you know if I like it or I don't. Do I think it's better than the original, or is the original better than the flanker? So stay tuned. Reflection Man 45. So the original Reflection Man came out, if I'm correct, 2007. Now it's 2022 now. So almost 15 years old. Can you believe that? Reflection Man been around that long as much. The note breakdown is crazy. So I'm gonna touch on a few notes. I'm gonna post a, a picture of all the notes on the screen, but we have notes of benzoin, pink pepper, clary sage, lavender, cardamom. All right, let's spray this. You get a nice size atomizer with travel set. Really nice. I'll open it up here and show you. Really nice size. It has an MY logo on the front, which I'll zoom in and show you, ladies and gentlemen. Sprayers are amazing. All right. This opens up very, very similar to the original MY. You get that orris in the opening, that powdery feel. Definitely pick up that lavender as well in the fragrance. Definitely pick up a vanilla in this fragrance, kind of creamy. Definitely pick up that jasmine as well. Slightly little bit of neroli feel in the fragrance. Freshness, but man, this is a very powdery type of fragrance. If you like fragrances, I would say it's Prada Loam. You're gonna like this fragrance here. Fragrances like Dior Homme, but this one here, I feel it's not as dark as they are. This is kind of leaning more sweet slash fresh a few times I've worn it on my skin. And once you get past that opening, it turns more into this iris bomb, DNA of the original and wash. So if you like the original, you're gonna like this one here. I really can't pair that much difference. I can't find a difference. Maybe a little bit in the dry down of the fragrance, you get a little bit of tonka bean and vanilla. But this fragrance is almost identical to the original one. I don't pick up a very difference. Now performance is gonna be a little different, which I'll touch on in a few moments. But right here, we're talking about the fragrance itself. They smell very identical. They may be a little tad bit more richer than the original one. Like I feel like this one is a little bit more mature than the original one where like I feel like it's more appropriate for dressed up scenarios. Let's touch on the performance. Okay, so before the video starts, if you're new here, I'm only going off of my skin. Nobody else has worn this fragrance. So I worn it for three days and this is how I feel about it. Projection, it's okay. I want to say a good hour or so of projection. It's a half an arm's length. It doesn't reach out far, which you would think a fragrance like this at this price point, it would reach out far. On my skin, it's like a light, um, fragrance. Longevity, you're looking at easy, you're gonna get eight to 10 hours. I have no complaints for longevity. Stays on the skin, stays on the skin. I mean, I'm just being accurate at like eight to 10 because after eight hours, I just don't care no more. That's enough for the fragrance, but it will get you through a whole day and then some where you have to wash it off your skin. Seasons and occasions, I feel like this fragrance is for the fall, the winter and early spring. I wouldn't wear this in the summer. I feel like the powderiness could be too coin for some people. But you know, if you feel like you can get away with it, do lesser sprays, one or two. But this is mainly a three season fragrance. Occasion, I feel like you can wear this very, very dressed up because you're paying a heavy penny for it, price tag. You could wear it dressed down as well if you want to be more casual with it, sure. But at the price point, it's really kind of scary to wear this casual with t-shirt and jeans. I feel like you want to dress it up with maybe a polo, khakis, maybe a, a, a whole, um, fitted suit, looking your Sunday best, going out to brunch, going to dinner, going on a hot date, something like that, a five-star restaurant, maybe going to casino, gambling. I would wear it to a more of an upscale event, but at this price point, wear whatever you want because it's $500 bottle at the end of the day, <laughs> which is crazy expensive for me or anybody in the world. Ratings and final thoughts. Okay, so for me personally, I'm gonna give it a rating of um, a five, it's average. 
it's nothing to write home about. I prefer the original uh, Reflection Man by M. Wash. That one smells amazing. Performance was amazing for me. I love the beautiful bow, just like this one here. I love the magnetic cap, but this one here, they made it and I appreciate it. It's very high concentrated, very rich. I love the fragrance, but I prefer the original performance. What I mean by it is that I can detect it better projection with the original and it's it's half the price you're paying for the new one. If you love and watch, you're probably gonna buy the flanker. That's fine. But if you only could buy one for myself personally, if I can only spend the money for one, I buy the original one. At the end of the day, um, you should definitely go to your local MY boutique, spray it on your skin. They do have it at Neiman Marcus and Saks, so spray it on your skin, see if you like it. If it projects like a beast, then enjoy the fragrance. On me, it's a, it's more of a close encounter fragrance, and the concentration is heavy, which I'll post on the screen sometime during this video. But nevertheless, this one here is very heavy concentrated um, on my skin, so it lasts and lasts, but projection is very close to the skin. I want more if I'm paying $500 for a fragrance, in my own personal opinion, but you know what? Everybody is their own, and you buy what you like at the end of the day. If you had tried the new m -Wash Reflection Man 45, let me know in the comment section below. Do you like it, love it, or hate it? Thank you guys for watching another fragrance video. If you like this type of content, have not yet showed your support for the channel, I hope you consider clicking that red subscribe button right now to support the channel. Like the video, click the bell icon for future fragrance videos like this, and give it out as well. Be safe, everyone, and I'll catch you in my next video. Peace.